The next step is to make this top piece here. So when we jump over to our design, the first thing we need to do, you'll notice, is that there's two of these side pieces. So let's make the second one. We're going to go here to Linear Pattern, and we will click on this, and we want to... So we selected the part. Now we want to select the direction. So a line that's going in this direction would be this line. Any of these lines would be going in the correct direction here because it's going to the left there. Um, if you select a different line, it's going to look a little goofy, and you'll instantly see that that is not what you want. So you select your line, and then the distance should be the width that you have entered from before. Yep, there they are. Now you got your two pieces. Now we want to create a new sketch. This new sketch, let's put it on the lower, one of these lower surfaces. Not this one. You should click one of these low ones. And now it's going to be sketching on that surface, as we see there. First things first, we want to come up here to use. And we are going to click on that corner. And then we're going to click on the opposite corner. Um, and we're going to use those two points from our original uh, pieces there, parts that we've created. And the reason we're doing that is once I hide them, it's going to be really easy to make a rectangle that's going to be that whole top surface there. And how I hid them, again, was just I clicked this piece. I can always bring those back. They're going to be right there for us. All right, so that's the top piece. Next, we want to put some holes in there, and this hole, this should be the big enough for the wire to fit through. So I don't know how big that is. You probably need to get those calipers out and measure that hole. I'm going to say 0.1 because I know that's way too small. Do not use 0.1. It's way too small for your wire. Um, you need to measure that. What you should do right now, though, is dimension this to make sure it's centered. So how far you want that hole from the edge there is how far, or let's dimension it to this back edge would be a better. Oops. Dimension it to this back edge. This is how far you want it hanging away from the wall. So I want mine uh, 4.5 inches hanging away from the wall. That's how far that lamp is. The center of the lamp is going to be from the wall. And I also want it to be centered in this um, from left to right here. So a nice easy way to do that is click there. And I know the width was 2. Uh, but if I divide that by 2, that's going to be perfectly centered, right? So I'll, if you, let's see that again. So I just did width and half of that. And that put that right in the center for me. All right. And then I probably want another one of these up here so that when I so that when I have the wire coming up here it can go back down another hole near the back. So let's look at that. Another circle I want it about that far from the back. And I'm going to say this should probably be the same size as my last one, which again should not be 0.1. And I want to dimension that from the center of my point, not the outside edge, from the center to this edge here. Oop, I'm not dimensioning. There we go. And that should again be W divided by 2. All right. And now I have my piece there. I am ready to extrude. So you can push OK. I'm going to say extrude, and I'm going to say this surface. Is it thinking? What's it doing? There it goes. All right. And sometimes it forgets a little piece, so you have to remind it. Yeah, that piece too. And you can see that my two holes are in there. Thickness should be the thickness. And then right now, I'm making sure I'm saying new, new piece there, not uh, adding to the other pieces, and there's our piece. Notice it is overlapping here, right? 
So the last step, we've done this in the past. We want to click on Boolean and we want to say subtract. The tool is the two pieces. These are going to be doing the cutting. The target is what's getting cut. And then I want to keep my tools also. So bingo. Now you can see when I hide those, that's looking pretty good, right? All right. Next step, we'll do the back. I will see you soon.